welcome back in the previous video we had seen how to create an assignment in the google classroom and now in this video we will see how to design a rubrics for the google classroom so for that first of all let us try to find out and get some idea about what this rubrics is all about once we understand that then we will go to the google classroom and try to create the rubrics let me go here so rubric is a scoring guide used to evaluate the performance assignment or a project now let us have some more clarity on why this rubric is essential if you have seen that when we give the class assignments if it is an objective type test then there is no difficulty for us in scoring it and even the students do not have any confusion about how the evaluation was done for example if we have created a quiz using the google form then there is no difficulty in the teacher to evaluate as well as for the students to understand the pattern of evaluation and there is hardly any scope for ambiguity but that's not the case when we give some subjective type of test it is for the evaluation of these subjective type tests that a scoring guide is necessary for both the student as well as the teacher there are three criteria three things which are essential three components for a rubric one is the performance criteria second is the rating scale and third is the indicator now let us try to get, take an example of a problem which has been given to the students the students have been given a task of writing a project and that evaluation criteria we are trying to make a rubric for that now how do i make the rubric for it as i told you there are three components for that one is the criteria second just a moment Let's try to take this page so this is the criteria the problem definition so in the criteria we are taking some criteria like how the student has defined the problem what is the review of literature they have done how is the research methodology they have used what is the language and style that they have used as well as the originality and application that is based on the project these are the criteria so the red color indicates the criteria the different criteria which the student will the teacher will use to evaluate the students now on the blue color you see excellent good average needs improvement and unacceptable on a rating scale of 5 point rating scale now if this is again up to the teacher to decide how they would like to design it they can have either a 5 point rating scale or a 7 point rating scale it's up to them but this is the second part that i said which is the the rating scale now coming to the third part which is the indicators now where do i have the indicators these are the indicators these descriptions are my indicators so let us now try to see how we can form the rubrics on the google classroom I'm going to my Google Classroom, the same Google Classroom which we have uh, developed in the previous class. So let me go to the Google Classroom here. And I'm going to take this. when i see this what i have is 
I'm going to add my work, which is I'm going to take an assignment. And in the assignment, I'm going to give a title to this assignment. Say a proposal uh, submission. And I can give some description. The students have to submit a detailed proposal for the problem identified by them and submit a, an appropriate research methodology. Say I say this. Now I have to create the rubric and how do I create the rubric? Create rubric. I say the criteria for eval title is the first title that I said problem definition. So I hope you remember what we had used here. In the rubric document, we were talking about problem definition. This is my first one. My second one is review of literature, then the research methodology. I will just take two for explaining. So I have here the description that I will do that later, but my level and my points so how many points are am, am i going to give so my point i am going to give point as five five points sorry five points here for uh, a person when and call that as excellent so that's the title so the criteria description also you can give that defining the problem well defining the problem clearly so in this this is what you have to understand very clearly what is what that is what is my criteria this is my criteria problem and uh, review of literature research methodology becomes my criteria what is my rating scale? This is my rating scale. These are my levels. This is the points that I want to give. And this is my description. So let me take this, this description here. And I'm going to give this description here. With a detailed, ex extensive explanation of the problem. So, this is my explanation. And then, if I want, I can add another level. And what is this level? This will have four points. And it will be called good. And the description again, you can take from this document here and you can give the description here. Let me open this. So, this is the second point explanation. see and I go here So 
so I am going to give the description here. Control V. So like this, five, four. I add one more, three, two, one. Like that, I will keep adding. So this is what how I will add for the next criteria. What is my next criteria? So these are required if I have to give. If I add one more level, I can add. If I want to delete this level, then I say delete it. Delete this level. And you can ask to delete this level also. Delete this level also. So that I have this 5 and 4 here. I can add one more criteria if I want to. struggling with this so i can add a criteria like this and i can save it so this is how a rubrics is actually done now what will happen is when you are evaluating the assignment this rubrics will come to picture and you can say that this person will get a, in problem definition how many marks should he be given. He can be given out of 5. He can be given 5 points if he is doing excellent. He is for 4 good points. Good for uh, 4 points for good or average. Then you have 2 more levels here. So this is how a rubric is added and it can be used for our uh, evaluation of assignments. Subjective assignments. Thank you.